All right, Shalom Boys here. Well, uh, just give a quick update on uh, the planting. As you see, we got our beans growing nice. And what I wanted to focus on was the corn. Uh, I'll be planting corn this year, and I started the seeds. And as you see, they're coming in quite nicely. And I'll go ahead and plant these bad boys. But I also planted some more uh what I got in here, some more lettuce and stuff. What I like about lettuce is that, you know, you you, you, you plant the stuff in phases. Uh, so you plant a little bit and you plant a little bit more. And so and that's what I was doing here. And then I got some other seedlings growing in here. I think this is kale and stuff. But uh, the idea is that I just go ahead and just throw uh, these seeds inside of here. Uh, and the raised bed is, is doing quite nicely. I mean, it's interesting. I posted this picture of these raised beds on uh, uh, uh a Facebook group, and uh, let me tell you, man, people ripped into me. I just didn't understand why. I don't understand why. Um, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing? They, they cart you, accuse me of stealing the crates and everything. I'm like, you know, people today, um, I tell you, the jealousy and envy is off the chain because, you know, what I've noticed is that, you know, people who can't show anything, that it's just like this reverse psychology thing. You know, they'll accuse you of something that 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 they're actually guilty of themselves. You know, they can't they can't show their garden, but they're going to uh, they're going to tell you uh, uh, how bad your garden is or what you're doing or what you shouldn't be doing. Or, you know, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, but as you see, we got our string beans coming in quite nicely. And, um, you know, we're already in the process of bagging them. Uh, we're already in the process of eating the kale. We're already in the process of eating the lettuce. Um, we're already in the process of eating the spinach. Uh, and that stuff kind of phases out uh, after uh the springtime uh because you know what i mean just you know uh, spinach just doesn't grow through through the summertime so this is why i've just changed up a little bit in terms of you know uh you know we, we just eat off of it we just constantly eat off of it uh and but this is the kind of stuff that we can actually store so that's what we do um uh there uh but the idea is that you know if you want to have lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers at the same time that's what we do and these are the uh, some of the tomato plants and I got more uh, coming and what I'll do is you see these suckers I'll go ahead and string these off and create more tomato plants with it so that's how we propagate our tomato plants instead of um, worrying about uh, planting new seeds we can always just have a continuous flow of tomato plants through the spring into the summer into the fall we ain't got the plant new all we gotta do is just hey Cut off one of the suckers, put it inside of of uh, some soil, and just take it from there. And just take it from there. So that's what we do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, as usual, the harvest is is good, you know. And after a while, you know, you stop planting. After a while, you know, you pretty much get good at it. Um, uh, and next year, I'm going to be focusing on um, revamping my raised beds because I threw those together. Um, uh, on a whim kind of like you know what i mean i was just trying it out and and as you go you know you get more and more better at building something like this is like this is a perfect example this is the second iteration um as you see all the spinach and stuff coming in and we're eating off of that but um this is the second iteration of this raised bed system that i created i did one and it wasn't quite good so i go ahead and, and i took it apart and redesigned it and that's how it looks so uh, this is going well. Um, and we got the pepper plants coming in. It's interesting. When we have pepper steak, uh, we make our pepper steak with uh, 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 venison meat. Um, but we're still eating peppers, uh, green and red peppers from last year. So, you know, that's frozen. And we just go ahead and just throw it in the freezer. And it's just good. That's where we get our peppers from, um, just from uh, last year's uh, harvest. So again, this year's harvest is again, you know, we'll go ahead and um, and store and store the peppers, cut them up, throw them right in the freezer. And we grow more than enough to last us uh, to the next growing season. So, um, you know, I did a video a while ago on our uh, um, our freezers and, and, and what we store in there. But, you know, yeah, that's how it works. And this is a perfect example is this is a, a sucker that I uh, that we put uh, in here that was 
clipped off uh, off of uh, one of these tomato plants. Another one. This is a sucker as well. So, you know, what I mean, it's just much more efficient to do it that way. Um, but it looks beautiful also. I mean, one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that not only does uh, the uh, plants are yielding fruit, but, you know, it also is beautiful as well. I mean, I just like the beauty of garden in addition to uh, getting the increase off of it itself. Um, I just love it. I just love it. It's just uh, one of those things that uh, just makes you feel real good inside, you know, being able to uh, uh, enjoy your garden, but at the same time, uh, just constantly see how beautiful it looks. But that's what we're going on. That's what we got going on. Uh, corn this year, and we'll throw all of this in the freezer. But this should be enough. I mean, this is three per pot, and, you know, each... Uh, a stock of corn probably give you two or three uh, stocks of corn so you know it works out pretty nice uh in terms of stacking the freezer uh with corn and it's amazing all you gotta do is put it in the husk i mean i, I think we are i have have eaten corn that's like two years old that i put in the freezer and you know we have three feeds i'm thinking about getting a fourth one because um you know it's just necessary it's just necessary uh but this is what we got going on so far um, yeah, I'm looking forward to my corn. Yeah.